I really, I really rather like this picture of Professor Layton and his crown. Hmm. Well, sure, it seems to me nothing at this point, but anyway. Yes, yeah, and hello. I'm Dark Leon, and this is Let's Play Professor Layton and the Curious Village. In the last episode, we solved some puzzles, and we actually got the journal of the late Baron, unfortunately. And we are actually getting a couple of clues to where the golden apple could be. And in this episode, we are actually going to try and meet Zapone. So here is Zapone, there is a hint coin right there. And let's go ahead and talk to him. Well, I couldn't even say the word talk. So, close friends with the Baron? It's true, I had the pleasure of meeting Baron Reinhold a few times. Mr. Sapone, you don't have to be good friends with the Baron, did you? Me? Haha, <laughs> no. It was nothing really, uh, there was nothing of the sort. Can I think of Venion who was close to Baron Reinhold? No, I didn't really know him. Well, there was that one possibility. No, wait, never mind, I'm not sure. I guess Abona can't really tell us much of anything. Yes, I'm afraid he was not helpful at all. I suppose that means we're back where we started. But at least we can be sure that this close friend was still after his resident of San Mister. San State Mister. But it could actually be San, I'm not really sure. We mustn't give up, look. Let's continue to ask around. So, sure, let's continue to ask around. Let's move on to the right of this fork. And oh, look at this, there's a piece of paper. Oh, yeah, sure, I'm going to get this hint coin, which is right here. Thank you, Matax. And. Professor, there's something on the ground here. You're right, it appears to be a scrap of paper. Will you check uh, if anything is written on it? Sure thing. Let's see here. The boss, complimented me, the boss complimented my latest model today. He's a good guy and he's given me a new set of purpose. I'm sure this is my true calling. I want to perfect my skills so I can repair the man his, for his generosity. It sounds like a great a great deal like a journal, doesn't it? Judging by how it's written, he uses the term boss. I imagine he was under the employ of the Baron. I've constructed models to fill every situation, just like the boss asked me to. I got a smile when I see him interested in, in them. That's the end of the entry. Do you suppose the person living... Uh, oh no. That this person made some sort of models for a living. Hmm. Now, pieces are actually getting together. So, let's look to Gerald here. Not being a member of such society myself, I've never been so much. I've never so much as had the conversation with Baron Reinhold. Now, send me. Much as I'd like to keep chatting, I'm awfully tired. I need to go lie down. Uh, are you feeling unwell, sir? I'm just plum exhausted lately. It, that awful saw on coming from the noise, you see. I've, it wasn't so loud. I can sleep a wink at night. Huh? Do you know what's going on causing the noise? It's just a rumor, but I hear that every time the sound trip through, said Mister, someone disappears. They say the ones who go missing uh, who've, are people who've been talking about how feeling. Uh, well, fuck this. But those who disappear are back before you know it. So it's probably a lot of poppycock. Poppycock? But never the s noise sounds, someone disappears. Interesting. Do you think the peculiar sound uh, has anything to do with a strange old man called Dark Ramon? It's certainly a possibility, isn't it? But why would he release his victims after going through the trouble of kidnapping them? Hmm, strange it is. Actually, when Ramon was attacked, there were some strange sounds in the tower, so that's strange too. And there seems to be some basis on what he's saying. You just look crazy about puzzles, aren't you? Well, I've got a whopper of a puzzle for you. I'm sure what you hope. Find the pentagons. It's one of these guys. It's one of these. 
So, find pedagogues here. Well, for starters. Oh, no, oh, it's rent, but it's not like this. So, there's one, two, three, four. Four like this. There's. Should be four like this. And let me remember the last pattern. Um, oh. The last pattern is, I believe, like this. It doesn't actually ask you to have um, actual, like, normal pentagons, I believe this is a correct term, but it has like five angles. So, those are th uh, three different st sketches and, well, four sides every time, so three times four equals twelve. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. Yep, I was right. So, yeah, big surprise there. I'm doing a let's play. I should be right all, all times. I'm actually, I'm happy that I have, that I'm already missing three big bets. Anyway, let's move on ahead. Prosecutor here. I do not believe there's, yeah. Yeah, there are no, how do you say, chain coins here. Yeah, Professor, do you find what you were after? Never mind that though, I've got something more important to talk to you about, namely chocolate. Tell me solve this puzzle and I will tell you something I bet you'll find very interesting. Mm, yeah. Okay, so you have a hatching for chocolate, so you buy a huge sheet of 30 chocolate squares. How many times do you need to have, well, 30 chocolate squares? How many times you need to break the chocolates? So, well, 30 pieces and you can stack them on one another and you can only break them like so. Okay, so, well, you should start breaking them by half, but eventually you will see that, well, every time you're cutting there will be more to cut. And eventually, you will need to cut every single of these, of these lines. And after counting them all, if you go ahead and well, actually start counting them, you will see that the right answer is 29. There we go. Another puzzle solved. Now it makes sense. Oh, okay. Now about the thing... Uh, uh, if you want to experience the best dining in Statenster, you've got to check Croton's restaurant. Everything he makes is yummy. Don't even get me started on the stews. You have to try them yourself. Yeah, very important. Uh, give them up to look and leave this place. Yeah, sure, whatever. One of the most boring puzzles in this game and I'm not one to tell this a lot. So, move upwards, get the hidden contents here, and now move to the left. Him, you there? Yes, you. Do you mean me, good sir? Yes, you. The flower vase is yours, right? I've been keeping it nice and safe for you. Hmm. I've never seen anyone just forget something like this while shopping. You have a very space case. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. I've never seen that face before in my life. What? The fancy vase, da that fancy vase, vase doesn't belong to you? So why did that guy tell me to give this to you? Hmm? What did this man look like? Well, my head was a uh, way of obscuring certain details from me. It's the worst, I tell you. Haha. <laughs> hmm. But back to the issue at hand. The Mr. Man wasn't a regular around here, that's for sure. Don't say it though. I'll just give it back to the guy next time I see him. 
So speaking of flower vases, I know a puzzle I bet you like. It's not a hard one or anything, but the least I can do for bothering you about this vase. Yeah, so you've bothered me about this vase and now you bother me about a puzzle about the vase. Ah. So someone knocked this over this fabulous vase and shattered it. Fit the pieces together and restore the vase to the original shape. There's one catch though. Mixed in with the pieces a single piece from a different vase. Well, it's a simple jigsaw puzzle, really. Just put things together and, well, since putting those together is fairly simple, you will be given... Oh, that goes there, I guess. Now, oh, this kind of looks like America. So, this goes there, this goes there. So, this is the one that stays out. Look, here's my answer. Critical thinking is the key to success. Yeah, simple puzzle, really. You've got a head on your shoulders, I mean breast. Actually, most people have a head on their shoulders. Like, everybody that doesn't is actually dead. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're more than that. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. So... Oh, I thought I would be given something. So... Oh, yeah, so I was going to get the trash, but there is a puzzle, a puzzle, a hint coin, right here. What kind of loot just throws trash on the ground? I'm going to pick it up. It's an old newspaper. Honestly, you think that everyone would know that there's gold in the trash? Wait a second. You have to come to take a look at this article. Well, would you look at that? It seems to be Inspector Chamley. Haha, <laughs> look at this. Tell me held a brilliantly undetective and devoted husband. Whoa, as a brilliant, sorry. Tell me held as brilliant detective and devoted husband. Selmy celebrates his successful case with his favorite treat, his wife's sweet potato fritters. Huh, that's strange. Wow, who saw that coming? He's so gruff I'd never imagined he had a soft side like that. Hey, <laughs> just look at that old gram gripping over his plate of sweet potato fritters. I knew he was fuzzing over nothing when he said he hated sweet bugs at Reinhold Manor. Hmm, that's right, look, he did say that. How very curious. Yeah, this doesn't make too much sense. So... Well, here is Archibald, so... Let's go ahead and talk to him. So... That's correct, sir. Currently we're searching for a close friend of Baron Reinhold's. We believe that he was entrusted... Uh, that he has entrusted this friend with an important note. Gracious, that's quite a search you have on your hands. Oh, excuse me, my name is Archibald. Uh, Gus, I mean, the Baron and I were great friends, thick as thieves. Huh? You used to have the most amazing conversation late into the night. Do you think that perhaps I am the one you're searching for? Yes, I think so. But like that, after all the searching, we should bump into you in a place like this. I have one question. Do you recall ever receiving a small note or anything written from the message uh, from the Baron? Hmm. No, I don't remember even receiving anything from the sort of the sort from Gas. But he did give me a fine desk that once belonged to him. It's at home. Maybe it holds some kind of clue. The Baron's desk, you say? Excellent. Would you like to come over at my house and take a look at it? You are most gracious. If you'd be kind enough to allow us to look at it, we would be very grateful. I'm sure Gus wouldn't mind uh, to find puzzle lovers such as yourself looking over his desk. Hmm. Actually, let me impact a few points of wisdom while uh, I've got your attention. Focusing on your, st on your case is all well and good, but if you don't solve some puzzles, you'd be sorely, re sor sorely later. 
So make an effort and find some puzzles around town. Just solve the ones you can. Take it from an old timer. It's good. Yeah, so whatever. All right, I've got my high horse now. Let's get on my, uh, over to my house. So I'm pretty sure that you actually need to have solved 50 puzzles, but we're way over that at this point. Spend look. Let's get right into it. So very important note here. Thank you for that. I was about to talk about this. Pay very close attention about the hint coins that are around here. I believe there are three, and there should be one st uh, one here. So as long as you're here, do not check the desk. First, just take the skin coins because they, because they will disappear. And that's and okay, the the puzzle will reappear if you lose it. That. Uh, so in front of you there are four tangled lengths of rope. Mark the ones you think will form a knot when you grab them from the ranch and pull them out. Water break. Ah. Uh, so, some of us really, you just make an assumption about how these are tangled and, well, I believe the only one that's tangled is C. So, this one and the rest are not knobs. Haha, <laughs> there's a panda. Okay, sure. And there's a strange robot pulling so much. Anyway, and yeah, sure, whatever. Now go to the desk, and you're supposed to open this the right drawer. But yeah, before doing that, there should be a hint coin somewhere on this leg. There should be one here, and one on this corner. There we go. And that was simple enough. Go ahead and open the desk or the drawer. It seems to be a note. It might point us in the direction of the golden apple. What do you make of this X? Hmm. I'm afraid I just don't know the, uh, that at the moment. Sorry to interrupt you, but I just received a call from the innkeeper, Beatrice. It seems she's concerned about one of her losers, and she'd like your thought on the problem. Well, we'd best go help her. Thank you, Archibald. Now, off to the inn we go. Look. So, I believe that's a good enough time to end this episode off. So... Oh, yeah, sure, let's try to get this painting up. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to try and do this. So, let's switch. Uh, I'm not exactly... I do think I remember what this picture is about, but I'm not exactly sure I remember what, like, the pieces were, where the pieces go. Um, I believe... No, no, that doesn't fit together. Uh, oh, now I remember what this is all about. Huh? No, no, come back. This, I believe... I believe it's just to go here or something. And... Do this fit by any chance? No. Okay, I'm just waiting, just wasting time here. In the next episode, I will probably not put this together. And, well, see you guys next time.